abiding and deepening relationship. No other ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now sign. <coughs> if you are able to keep the vows you take here today, not because of any religious or civic law, but out of a desire to love and be loved by another person fully, without limitation, then your life will have joy. The home you establish will be a place in which you both will find the direction of your growth, your freedom, and your responsibility. I now ask you to read the vows you have prepared for each other. Okay. My dearest Rebecca, I spent a long time searching for you. I think part of the reason the song I chose to sing earlier really resonates with me is the first verse in which our hero alludes to going through life, not getting things right, stumbling and falling before, finding himself in a place he's been looking for all along, never before knowing what that place was. When I now put myself in a similar piece of self uh, place of self-reflection, I realize that although I've experienced my share of uncertainty and heartbreak, I wouldn't trade any of it. Not only has my journey led me to you, but along the way I learned a thing or nine about myself. <laughs> And this has afforded me the confidence to stand here today and believe with my whole heart that my next journey begins today, hand in hand with my soul. To be honest, I think somehow I knew that I loved you when you first walked in to meet me at the 1369 Coffee House. Your smile made me dizzy that day, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't just a caffeine high. <laughs> when we first held hands, it was like we'd been walking hand in hand for years. When we first kissed, I felt what it was like to be caught in a perfect moment, sharing a bubble with someone completely removed from the outside world. I look forward to every today, tomorrow, and yesterday we get to share. I look forward to finding joy in our favorite things and comforting each other in the face of our less favorite things. I promise to continue to seek out the little things I can do to support you and make you smile. I promise to be patient with you frustration and to recognize when I'm the source of frustration. <laughs> I promise to take care of you above all else and to take time each day to appreciate the blessing I've been given. I promise to know you a little better every day and always see you through the eyes of that dumbstruck guy in the coffee house on Easter Sunday. So won't you please take my hand? Take my whole life too. Because <laughs> I can't help falling <laughs> Dearest Jeff, the first time we met, you were my knight in shining sweater. <laughs> <laughs> we met in the night, and as I entered the cafe, I spotted you glowing in your white chalk-collared sweater with a giant smile on your face. The chocolate bunny you gave me was also a thoughtful gesture, <laughs> which was later shaved into a decadent brownie batter. first, <laughs> When you offered to walk me to my car that night, and I, and I allowed you to, I knew we would see each other again. That first, that first night, I told my friend Lily that I met my gentle knight. You're a goofball, wisecrack, and quite a hunk. <laughs> but you're also not shy about showing your sensitive side like listening to love songs and admitting you like the Gilmore Girls and <laughs> We may have said I love you sooner, but honestly I knew it was real after our first disagreement. You were being silently irritable, just like your ornery or cichlid. You took a swig of water, splashed some water, um, splashed some water in your face, and after you settled down, you started off by saying, I just want to keep you safe. You love me so much that you couldn't bear the thought of losing me because of an unfortunate decision. I knew we had things to work out, such as communicating concerns beforehand and not after the fact. But we were going to be alright. 
We made it to this point. You're still in one piece. <laughs> I love you. And today I, I keep my promise to marry you. <laughs> so as I stand in front of you today, in front of all our dearest family and friends, I offer you these vows to seal our fate. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to say I love you and give you a kiss every morning. I promise to give you a smile every day, even on the days we may have disagreements. I promise to comfort you when you are in discomfort. I promise to not let Hannah, my dog, on the bed. I promise to let you know when you're watching too much sports. I promise to be understanding and empathetic. I promise to handle my delivery of honeydew with sweetness and affection. <laughs> and I promise to be honest and truthful with you always. Those are my <laughs> <laughs>